I was always a pretty um, extroverted, bubbly, talkative child. I like the, just like, just this childlike experience in life. You know, that's why I love color. You know, I feel like people also connect to my work as well because it's so full of color. And I feel like we only gave ourselves permission to explore color in, in our childlike states. As adults, oh, we can't have rainbows around. We can't have all, the, it has to be maybe a black and white wardrobe or like gray scale. I love color. I feel like, like once we're able to connect to that just like child, like joy and bliss, like that's where creativity happens. I realized that I wanted to be an artist when I moved to Seattle. I was able to have relationships with working artists, professional artists who were in the field, um, who actually inspired me that I could actually be an artist. Because I, I was always painting, like forever. It was something I was always doing. I was always creating, drawing, using pastels, chalk. Um, but it was always just like something that I did, not something that I could pursue or, or pursue a career doing it. Um, so when I came out here, just seeing the city embrace artists, seeing working artists selling their work, having websites, you know, doing shows, I saw it as a true potential. Seeing artists here uh, truly inspired me to pursue it as a craft um, and then later as a profession. Before I moved to Seattle, I was a registered nurse. I was working in critical care in Chicago. Uh, when I moved out here, I was also a nurse as well, and I was working in uh, medical telemetry at Northwest Hospital. I graduated college um, 2011. At that time, when the recession hit, it was like, you are about to be an artist. You're about to go with a secure job, and nursing is one of the most secure jobs out there. So it kind of just made sense to do that. But after being in it for two to three years, I knew that this wasn't what I wanted to do, especially in the Western medicine philosophy. So the reason that I moved out to Seattle was to attend Bastyr University for naturopathic medicine. So I was there for about a year with the goal of being a naturopathic doctor and really using more alternative modalities of healing. I realized that truly I was just running from different healthcare programs, knowing that deep down I really wanted to be an artist. So I decided to pursue my arts while still working as a professional nurse um, and slowly made that wean as my art income increased. I was able to slowly um, take less shifts as a nurse and then completely supplement my income with art. And I was like, okay, we're here. We're gonna, we're gonna stay here and we're gonna rev it up and continue to, to work as a full-time artist. I took a workshop called I Am An Artist in Levingsworth that Artist Trust had hosted. The workshop entailed information about how to write your artist statement, your bio, how to get your resume going, uh, to kickstart a website, and even an artist Facebook page. But like before that, it was like, I paint a little, you know? <laughs> so um, I also did the public art boot camp at Office of Arts and Culture. From that, uh, I was able to get my first mural project. And I don't think people even realize though, but that, that mural was the first mural that I ever painted. And it was 130 feet long. It was ginormous. And you know, it's something there's, you know, you hear people say there's like benefits of just being naive and not knowing. If I knew the scale of that, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have done it. I still wanted to make my art accessible while still having high value and high price points for, for my originals because some of them take months. Like this giant piece I'm working on, she's 10 feet long, that's taking me months, you know? Uh, so, so not just giving it away to make it like, oh, accessible for everybody, you know? But just having affordable options through prints, um, clutches, jackets, um, some of the new acrylic blocks that I have, I'll show you all a little bit later. Um, just having different ways in order to consume the art. So I sell those on my website, through Instagram, my Facebook artist page, as well as art festivals. So Folk Life, um, West Seattle Summer Fest, Alki Arts Festival, um, different pop-up shows. I'm actually doing one called Hard in the Paint uh, coming up this weekend for Halloween. So it's like a pop-up show at, um, at this lounge 
own kind of nightlife and we're gonna be there in our Halloween costumes and I'm gonna have a table set up. I'm one of the vendors. I'll have prints ranging from 20 to $60. Canvas prints, some um, will be 90 to 100, um, as well as some of the small little clutches. And what's really nice about some of the smaller merchandise stuff, people can keep that on them. So even for me, that's like one of my own clutches is my makeup bag. So if I take that out and like put my lipstick on and somebody makes a comment about my bag, here's this conversation starter about, hey, I do art, here's where you can find it. Or now somebody else who has my clutch can also spread spread the, spread the word about me. So um, it's just really become helpful to have all those different, have those different streams. Most recently I've been working on liberation healing arts. So that is uh, creative workshops that I host that fuses art, wellness, and spirituality. Um, and that's really like kind of connected to my nursing background. So I feel like finally I've come into a space to incorporate it all. I felt like for such a, like, just when I started working uh, as a full-time artist, I was like, okay, I just want to stay away from everything health, you know? Uh, but that's still just such a core part of who I am and what I do. So I finally found this space to really embody it all. Another project that I'm working on is my Zodiac series. So I'm painting all 12 of the Zodiac signs and I'm working on Gemini now, which is perfect because I'm a Gemini, June 5th. Uh, and so it's just this series where I'm able to explore um, all those different signs and how they connect to me, my family, my friends. You know, I feel like everybody kind of connects with their sign in some way. Um, just the whole series, I'm really exploring the cosmos and uh, divine femininity and how it all really connects. So I'm excited for this series.